Hello creative thinkers, my name is Jasper and welcome to Creative Thinker Inc, the home of opportunities. Today we want to talk about energy and why energy is very very important for us to understand. Energy and the environment, they go hand in hand because energy comes from the environment. When we look at oil, when we look at coal, those are coming from the Earth's core, you know. So the advantage is that oil revolutionized how many industries are functioning, revolutionized how we travel, revolutionized how we do many things that need efficiency and effectiveness. Coal revolutionized electricity. It made it so simple for us to get energy. It revolutionized our industries. And it's never stopped doing that. Even up until now, people still rely on coal, especially African countries that have a large deposit of, of it, Zimbabwe being one of them. Now, the good thing about oil and coal is that they gave us an advantage. They gave us leverage to have energy. They gave us leverage to create energy that will make our economies function properly. But to what extent? So the, the advantage that they came with also came with a disadvantage in that we suffered from climate change. So what do we mean when we say we suffered from climate change? Look at the cyclones that are happening. We have numerous cyclones, we have droughts, we have glazers in the North Pole, South Pole, you know, literally melting down. People used to know the patterns of the rains. People used to know when the rains were going to come and when they're ending. But nowadays, it's so sporadic because of the climate change, because of the heat, because of the greenhouse effect that is around the earth. Now, for you as a business owner, why is climate change important for you? Climate change is important because there are so many opportunities to use different types of energy sources. So many people are really phasing out coal even in funding. Many funding organizations that fund environmental projects are really phasing out coal. And there's a possibility that in the future, oil will actually run out of the earth. So that means we'll be left with the renewable energy, the sun, the sunlight, water. And we need to start thinking like that as climatepreneurs. Start thinking, where do we invest? Our energy where do we invest our monies where do we invest our proposals towards in Africa we have so much land why don't we use that land not just to farm crops but also to farm solar farms to farm wind farms to farm anything that has to like hydroelectric to, to create hydroelectric pumps that will bring the ele electricity and also why don't we also study also this environmental like energy sources find um find people like we we are smart people uh in africa in zimbabwe find people who can help us write proposals to actually get those energy storage systems that can help feed the grid to zesa so that we have more electricity for for the nation so there are so many opportunities there are vast opportunities and it was just a recap of what we have been talking about when it comes to energy. There, there is that need for you as an entrepreneur to know that energy sources like coal and oil are probably going to be phased out in the near future. So you need to be ready now to adopt new ways or new energy sources like renewable sources like sunlight, water, and many others. VBD Daily News, making business knowledge easily understandable.